This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Make a Back to Top of Page Link Advanced Method. Uh, in an earlier tutorial I showed you an easy way to make a back to top of page link and here we're going to do the advanced method which requires the use of a text editor. Um, I'm on a Macintosh so that would be text edit and uh, on a PC it's something like um, WordPad or uh, Notepad and it requires the use of FTP software. So if you're not familiar with those, um, send me a comment. I'll, I'll uh, help you out with that. But hopefully you know how to do that and we can just proceed with our advanced back to top of page link. Here's what the link looks like. I've got an about us page here on the McBuzz Communications uh, sample website and down at the bottom of the page I've got two, I'll blow these up a little bit more, two links. One is back to top advanced and one is back to top easy. So if I click on the advanced, you see how quickly that works. And if I click on the back to top easy, it takes a little bit longer. It's actually reloading the page in that case rather than just snapping back up to the uh, a different location on that page. So um, the preferable method is the advanced method, but you've got to have access to the files for the theme and you have to be able to edit those files. So let's see how we do this. There are a couple of things, that's not what I want, that we need to use here. Here's the bit of code, okay, that we're going to insert to name the location on the page. Uh, and in this case it's the top of the page so we're inserting it into the header file and let's see how that works. Okay, I need to go and get fetch here um, and here we go. So this is fetch FTP software. I'm in the root directory. Uh, actually I'm going to be in the root right now when I click on public HTML and to get to this particular blog I have to go into a couple folders. Okay, so now we're in the root for the blog itself and in here there is a file. Let's see, actually there's a folder and that's called WP Content. Okay, I'm going to open that. And there we find the themes folder. Open that one. And then you have to pick the theme that your blog or website is using. Okay. doing that and here I find the header.php file. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this header file onto my desktop. I'm going to oops, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to make a copy of it and save that as a backup in case anything goes wrong. I'll have the original with no changes. Okay. Now once I have that header.php file on my desktop, I can open it up. And here is what I will find. Okay, this is this is all stuff that you don't really need to worry about. This is the HTML and the PHP code for the header file. We just want to locate one thing here, and it's the body, the opening body tag. Okay, if you can see that, I can blow that up. That's as, as big as I can make it, but it's the opening body tag. And it comes right after the closing head tag, so you can look for those two things. Um, I keep going back to that. Where's my other piece? Okay, I do. There we go. Okay, so you find the body tag and you want to insert this piece of code right after it. So I'll include this code with the uh, tutorial on the website. Okay, it says name equals top. So copy that whole thing and then we paste it in right there after the body tag. 
Okay. This body tag may have additional information like an ID equals home or something of that nature, but you always want to just insert your this is called an anchor tag right after the closing bracket of the body tag. Okay. Now you're done. Save that file. Okay. And we go back having saved it we've got header on the desktop we can just drag it right back into the FTP window and it's going to copy right over the existing header okay so once that is done we can insert a new back to top link which is the second part of what we're after and that is this piece here of code with the A, H, R, E, F, and a pound sign before top, okay, and then whatever your link is, is going to say. Here I've just got it saying back to top, and then this closing tag. So I'll include this also with uh, the video in the web page. Okay, so we want to insert this, and let's go see where to put that. We're going to go to Manage Pages. I'm going to open up the About Us page. Now you've got to use the code editing window, okay? It won't work if you use the visual editing window to try to do this. So decide where you want to put your link. Um, here you can see, blow these up a little bit, the two links that are already existing on this page these two okay and here they are in the visual text editing window if I want to insert another link here I open the code editing window okay go to the location that I want to put that and if you can see it and if you probably cannot here's my back to top advanced link okay the one that's already there I can hit return a couple times and now I'm taking the code that I want to use here um, not that but this okay the back to top link second piece it has a pound sign in it okay I've selected and copied that whole thing and copy go back to my window, the code editing window. Okay, and I can just do a command V and paste that in. As you can see here, I think. Let's so blow that up any further for you. There it is. Okay. And now I click save. go back and see what that looks like on this page. There we go. You can see the, the link that I just inserted. Okay, and if I did it correctly, it's going to perform just like the existing advanced back to top link. Let's click on it. Boom. Perfect. Alright, so that's how you do it. You need to open a header.php file and insert the um, code that I showed you there from where is it? You insert this one after the body tag and then you go in now that's for your your header PHP file and then save that back to the server and then you insert this piece using the code editing window where you want your link to be.